Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Māori Affairs and asks, did the government inform Māori Television that he was flying to New York to speak to the UN? If so, on what date? The Honourable Tariana Turia. On behalf of the Minister of Māori Affairs, Māori Television was briefed in confidence on Friday the 9th of April 2010 to enable them to send a reporter and camera operator to New York in time for the announcement. David Garrett. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Order, I've called David Garrett. David Garrett. Did the Prime Minister advise him before his trip to New York that the declaration would have, quote, no effect whatsoever, close quote, and if so, how does he justify the secrecy and expense of the trip? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, uh, it was very clear in the declaration what the parameters of it were. There was no secrecy in him going over to New York. The Prime Minister signalled uh, very early last year that this was going to be on the agenda this year. There has been no secrecy. Right. Order, Mr Speaker. Order, order. I'm trying to hear what's being called as a point of order so being point, called. Point Sorry. of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, David Garrett. Mr Speaker, the question was quite specific. Did the Prime Minister advise him that the declaration would have no effect whatsoever, which is a direct quote from the Prime Minister? It wasn't about the contents of the document, which uh, was the answer the uh, Minister, Associate Minister gave on uh, his behalf. Well, order... If I recollect correctly, that wasn't the question the member asked at all. I seem to recollect there was a, a, a hunk more in the question which the minister chose to focus on in her answer. And that's the thing, that if, if members want to get a particular point covered in an answer, they mustn't add more that enables the minister to latch onto the bit they didn't particularly uh, want to have focused on. So I, I believe the minister adequately answered the question. David Garrett, supplementary. Uh, supplementary, Mr Speaker. Will he be advising Tuhoi that, as the Prime Minister stated, the declaration he signed in New York will have, quote, no effect whatsoever, and that they, Tuhoi, are mistaken in citing the declaration in their claim to ownership of Uruwera National Park? Honourable Tariana Turia. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's very clear that this declaration must fall within the parameters of New Zealand law and within the treaty obligations that have been agreed to between the Crown and Māori people, and that is how the Tūhoi decision will be made also. Kelvin Davis. To the Minister. Was it his intention to travel all the way to New York to, as the Māori Party says, sign the declaration, or was he just, as the National Party says, going over there to affirm it and which of these affirmations or declarations will help reduce Māori prison numbers, unemployment and increase educational achievement the most? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Māori Affairs, it was appropriate for the Government to make its first statement publicly to the permanent forum, as this was the setting in which much of the uh, declaration was negotiated. Point of order, Sumeroni. I seek leave to have my question held over to a day when the Minister is present in the Chamber. Order of uh, leave is sought to have question number 11 in the name of Sumeroni uh, held over uh, to another day. Is there any objection to that course of action? There is objection.